Welcome back, y'all. It is Labor Day. This afternoon, we're making all the sides for the cookout this evening if we don't get rained out, which even if we do, we can still, you know, we just won't be able to go outside very much. We had some fireworks and stuff left over from the 4th of July, so we're gonna go out on the front porch, make some ice cream, watch the fireworks, but we might get rained out for that. We'll see. You want a yogurt? Which kind? Do you want the whips yogurt or do you want one of these kind, a gogurt? He's looking for another dinosaur yogurt here. I don't know if any of them have dinosaurs. What is this one? Oh, we've got a silly looking ice cream cone. You want that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is that guy? I don't know. He's looking for ice cream. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make all the sides this afternoon and the desserts except for the ice cream because you know you want to make that right when it's time for the ice cream. But the other dessert we're gonna go ahead and make, it's a pineapple upside down dump cake. So we're making that. We're gonna make some hot rolls, deviled eggs, broccoli cheddar pasta salad, and mashed sweet potatoes. So as far as the meat, I'm not exactly sure what we're making. Titus mentioned some ribs. He's just gonna stop on his way home and get whatever he wants to cook on the grill or the blackstone. What did I do with those sweet potatoes? I thought, oh yeah, I put them back in here. We're gonna cook the sweet potatoes and the eggs in the Instant Pot together. Now I've done this with regular potatoes, like if I was making potato salad or even mashed potatoes, I would cook the potatoes and the eggs together if I was gonna make, you know, mashed potatoes and deviled eggs or like I said, potato to salad. I've never cooked the eggs though with the sweet potatoes, so it might turn the eggs a little bit orange. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens here. Oh, you going in, in that car? I don't think you can fit in there, can you? Yeah. You can. Oh, you're gonna get smaller. <laughs> he said he's gonna get smaller sizes. He's gonna shrink down. Honey, I shrunk the kids and ride in his little dinosaur car. So I put the rack in there. We're gonna put one cup of water. I'm not gonna shrink down. You want me to stay normal size? Okay. I'll stay normal size. You gonna stay normal size too? You got me thinking about those outdoor scenes on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and changed his mind. So all I'm gonna do is wash the sweet potatoes off and I'm just gonna cut the peeling around just like this. That way, when they finish cooking, they should just slip right out of the peeling. And if they turn our eggs a little bit orange, it's gonna be fine. This is like the last big summer celebration. And then we start heading into fall, so it can be fall deviled eggs. <laughs> Okay, so we got the potatoes in there. Now we're just gonna sit the eggs right on top of them. not loving the smell of these pineapples. All right, so the recipe calls for two 20 ounce cans of pineapple. They said pineapple, I forgot what they called it, but it meant like, you know, pineapple chunks, I believe, or either the pineapple tidbits, but the actual picture of the recipe looked like chunks. So we have one can of pineapple chunks and I'm putting them into this bowl so that all the juice can go into here instead of wasting the pineapple juice. I'm doing one can of the chunks and one can of crushed because I think the crushed will make it really, really moist. Plus, I only had one can of the chunk, so. Here, Cece, you, I'll hold it and you stir it around, kind of press it a little bit to squeeze out some of the juice. Jonah's over here waiting patiently for some pineapple juice. <laughs> All right, Cece spray in the nine by 13 with some cooking spray. And then we're gonna pour in the pineapple right into the bottom there. While she's spreading that, I'll go ahead and pour the pineapple juice in here. Am I gonna overflow, Jonah? Cheers. Now we need some cherries, and I'm just gonna take, we're not gonna use this whole jar. You could use the whole jar if you wanted to, but we're just gonna place a few cherries here and there. I remember my mama making pineapple upside down cake when I was little, and it was like my favorite thing to watch her make that cake. I always thought it was so neat whenever she would flip it over and those pineapple rings would be on top. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out half a cup of brown sugar. Now we're gonna take this half a cup of brown sugar and sprinkle it all over the top of the pineapples and the cherries. I'm using a white cake mix. The recipe said yellow, but I have white, so we're just gonna go with the white. We're gonna sprinkle this 
all over the top. The last thing we do is put some butter on the top. We need three fourths of a cup sliced. So we're just gonna slice it up, place it all over the top, and then this goes in the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. So I got this recipe from Miss Lori. Her channel is Whipper Wheel Holler. I know a lot of y'all know about her channel, so I'll link her video down below for these three ingredient hot rolls. We've never made these before, so we're gonna give them a try because I don't have time. Well, I kind of would have time to do my yeast rolls, but I've been wanting to try these anyway, so we're gonna do these today. Okay, so we're putting in two cups of self-rising flour. Now, I'm gonna double this recipe because hers makes six and I wanna make 12. I don't have two more cups of self-rising flour. I do have all-purpose flour though, so we're gonna turn it into self-rising. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in two cups of all-purpose. For each one cup of all-purpose flour, you're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna need about two cups of milk and six tablespoons of mayonnaise. Okay, Cece's gonna go ahead and start pouring in a little bit of the milk. Oven. Cake is almost done. Pasta is done, but we need to let it cool down. The eggs and the potatoes are done in the Instant Pot, but they're still, they'll be fine while we wash these dishes. And then we'll continue. <laughs> Okay, looks like at least the ones that cracked a little bit are gonna be kind of orange. All right, so we've got the eggs in an ice bath. Now the potatoes, they look like they're just gonna slip right out of the peeling. We've got a lot of creature power action going on. See how wonderful? Mama. It's done. Let me check it. Okay, I've got a timer set. We're browning the rolls on top. The cake is done. It's smelling good. You smell it? Yep. Does it smell good now? Okay. Watch me quit the fire. Quit the fire. That's wonderful. Okay, Cece's mashing the sweet potatoes. I'm gonna put in a little bit of butter. I'm just gonna put in a little bit of milk. Add some butter in there. Now, I'm gonna dump these into a casserole dish. The last thing we're gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon sugar over the top. Just a little dusting, just a little. That's how steak houses do baked sweet potatoes around here. They serve them to you baked with a little butter and cinnamon and sugar mixture on the top. It's great. So now I'm just gonna cover these and whenever it's closer to time for us to eat, I'll just stick them in the oven and let them start warming up. Not everybody likes sweet potatoes. So for those who want other potatoes, we're just gonna, I'll just throw some regular potatoes in the Instant Pot and we'll have, you know, just baked potatoes regular. The rolls are done. They look really pretty. We're just gonna butter the tops. All right, Cece, are you ready to try one of these rolls? Look how pretty they are. It's almost like a cross between a biscuit and a roll and even cornbread almost because you get that really crispy outside. If you can't decide if you want biscuits, cornbread, or rolls, just make these three in one. Okay, all we have left now is the pasta salad and the deviled eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the onion and broccoli chopped up for the pasta salad. This is a copycat of the, I don't even know if they still have it anymore, but Walmart used to have this broccoli cheddar pasta salad, and it's really, really good. And most of the time I use the tri-colored pasta for this, but I didn't have any of that, so 
I just, if I don't have that, I just make it with whatever kind of pasta. And the broccoli is already uh, in the florets, but I don't want, you know, them to be this big. So we're gonna chop up the ones that are a little too big. Deviled eggs, and we'll be done. We have visitors. Mm -hmm. 